Well, first off, I'm I'm just really happy for our players. I think uh, it was a really hard-fought game. Our guys, uh, we were good from the start, um, and uh, you know we we had to overcome quite a lot of things. We had some foul trouble, and, um, didn't shoot the ball particularly well from the perimeter, but I thought we guarded well. I thought we rebounded well. Uh, I thought we got a lot of you know, a lot of help from a lot of guys, and the fact that uh, you, you come back from uh, a disappointing loss and you can snap back and actually get all those things where your guys uh, are laying it out there and it shows that I mean these guys really care and and uh, they care about each other and you know so that's that's a good place for your team to be and uh, excited about the win look forward to a huge challenge next week with that I'll take any questions you've been Two coaches in the hundred plus years of BYU basketball have over two hundred wins. You're one of them. What does that mean to you? Well, I, you know, I've, 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 I think I've said this before that uh, the, the 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 wins are, you know, it, it's so there, there's so much, so many people that are uh, responsible for that, and you know, it's I, I guess it's interesting that one guy gets the credit because I've had so many great coaches here and like I, like I said the, the players are they're, they're just they're terrific they're committed and uh, obviously they're really talented guys and they play for each other and I, I think way more about the players who's been here and the teams and the chemistry that's been on these teams way more than you know, we think about the wins, but uh, I'm glad we got it so we can move on, not have to talk about it for a while. <laughs> if you were concerned about how this team would bounce back, what about San Diego, what they did concerned you the most? And how did you counteract well, the first thing is that they're undefeated in the league, and I really believe that there's something special about trying to hand guys their first loss when they're on a roll. And you could see that yeah, the, the way they played, you know, that, that – you couldn't just come out and, and, you know, put run, run on them, and they were going to go away. They came back again, you put another run on them, they come back again. I mean, they, these guys believe in themselves. Uh, they got great balance in their scoring um, with their ability, you know, to score from the perimeter, ability to score inside. Uh, and then defensively, it's, it's a team that really scouts you and makes you do other things uh, to score. So... With the combination of those things, I would, and, and you know, it's a, and it's, it's an experienced team. It's very similar to the team we played last year. They're, you know, they're uh, just getting older, getting more experience, and uh, and I, I'm watching film. I'm really impressed with Billy's team. I think he's going to have a great season. Can you talk about how Brandon bounced back and had a pretty solid game after what happened before? Yeah, I just think that he, uh, you know, he. The, 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 he wants to, to, you know, to be the leader of this team. And the nights when you know things don't go his way, uh, I really believe that he's a guy who, um, you know, takes that to heart and then responds to it. And um, you know, th th there's there's a couple guys on this team who are carrying a pretty huge load because we need them to play well uh, for us to be good and consistently well. And uh, so I was really pleased with how he responded. Josh getting in foul trouble, and Nate gave you 32 pretty good minutes. Nate, Nate played great, you know, and the, you look at his numbers, and they're just kind of, uh, you know, like just workman numbers. But he was out there uh, and uh, for the majority of the game, and I thought that his presence, you know, really, uh, you know, just really caused problems. He got nine rebounds. Defensively, he was big. He, you know, altered and deflected a lot of shots, and uh, I – I think, you know, Nate is, he's one of the guys in the last three weeks that not a lot of people have been talking about, but as far as the coaching staff is concerned, he just continues to improve. The minutes that we're getting from Nate, uh, you know, are, are better and better and better, and it gives us a, you know, well, well, Josh gives us one look at that four, and Nate gives us a whole other look as far as his physical presence, and uh, I think that's good for the, the depth of our group.
Um, the game went about eight minutes at the start without a timeout. You, you get on the run, you feel like you gassed him a little bit, and that it'd be good to get out and run and get some buckets out of that. Well, I, yeah, but I think sometimes you kind of gas yourself. I mean, this this was a uh, an emotional you know an emotional win or game for our guys after you know uh, an emotional uh, loss the other night, and so uh, I thought both. Uh, both teams at times, as hard as they were playing, uh, you know, the, the, the game wasn't at the pace that uh, probably either team wanted. And, uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with, I mean, they, they played a really physical uh, LMU team on, on Wednesday. And then, uh, you know, we, we had quite a physical game in here uh, ourselves. So um, pleased with the win. And uh, like I said, look forward to quite a challenge next week. Were you able to watch the end of that uh, Gonzaga? I just saw the end of it. Yeah. That's why we play them. They're going to be kind of feeling what you felt the last few days. That's kind of ironic, but uh, <laughs> what uh, what are your early thoughts about going into that game? Well, it's a really talented team. Uh, um, you know, Mark and I are, uh, have become actually pretty good friends, and, and he's got himself, you know, some guy, some people are saying maybe the best group he's ever had, but uh, uh, it's a it's a deep group. They can score inside. They're really talented on the perimeter, and uh, it's going to be a real challenge. I mean, they're they're going to be, um, you know, in, in in a you know probably a little bit upset where they want to go. So we're going to be ready for it. They're they're uh, what is it? I think that's what their second loss on this on the season. So. It'll sting extra hard. When you don't lose much, it really hurts. That's just how the business is. Is there any difference in that sting non-conference game to conference game? I don't think so. And, and your mind might, you know, after the game's over, play tricks on you. But how you actually feel after the game? Same. As far as defending Johnny D, who who gets credit aside from that three-minute stretch where? He hit three. Th Who gets well, kind of credit? I, I for thought that? Brock Brock did a great job on him, and uh, uh, you know, he got free uh, late in that second, in that first half, and once in transition, and uh, once in our zone where we were just late. Uh, but when we were playing, you know, man to man, our, our guys uh, did a good job of locating him and getting to him. Uh, he has such a quick release; you just can't get too much space. I mean. It's difficult because we're trying to cover the high post with our guards and still get him on the wing, and we had to kind of give up one or the other, and, and you know we kind of spaced to him to try to get to him quicker because uh, when he gets going, he can fire him in in a hurry. Anything else? All right, All right thanks, guys.